Alright, welcome back to the Supercoach Nuff channel. In this video, we're going to review round two, or week two, I should say, of the 2024 even uh, NFL uh, Dream Team season. And another underwhelming week for ourselves with 387, um, which has seen us slide another 300 spots, um, barely hanging on in the top 1,000 when there's only 3,500 playing. Uh, it's not going too well. <laughs> but we'll have a look at the team. We'll see if we can change that. Um, but before we do, we'll look at how we went for week two. Um, so our quarterbacks were solid without being spectacular. Um, Richardson with just a 25 this week. Uh, Daniels with the 26. So bringing their averages down a bit. Um, Williams was better, but at uh, 17... You know, won't make us a lot of uh, quick cash like we were hoping for. Uh, our running backs, so Brees Hall was quite good with 41. Uh, Saquon, our captain this week with 31. Uh, could have been a little bit more if he could have held on to a ball late, but um, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, Bijan was quite good with 28, and Jordan Mason with 33 uh, in place of McCaffrey, who is now officially on the IR. Um, so we'll miss the next three weeks, um, guaranteed. Um, so probably one we're going to move on in our team. Um, Zemir White, again, probably isn't going to be the cash generator we hoped for, but we've got other issues we need to fix in our team before we worry about him. Um, our wide receiver, Satori Hill, was quite uh, quiet with only nine points, uh, and that was compounded by the fact that Tua... Tungavailoa is out with a concussion. So he's on the IR as well, so misses four weeks. Um, so hopefully, you know, he gets right before he does come back. Um, he, from all reports, he wants to come back, despite I think this is his fifth concussion in four seasons or something crazy like that. Uh, C.D. Lamb was quite good, though, with 34. Cooper Cup we brought in thinking we've got a mid-price option here that's going to be a gun. Um, Puka Nakua got injured, and then sure enough, Cooper Cup goes and gets himself injured. So an 11 from him this week. Um, Wilson with the 16 was solid. Um, it was more the running backs, Brees Hall, and also young uh, Braylon Allen seemed to be getting a lot of the, the workload there at the Jets. Uh, McConkey, this was a dumb decision, playing him over Harrison with a 7. You know, and then you've got 54 points sitting on the bench. Uh, Neighbours with the 47, you know, he looks really good as uh, the number one guy there at, at New York. Uh, Deontay Johnson with the six might be, you know, time to move him on also. At tight ends, so the two big boys have been very disappointing at the start of the season. A four and a two from LaPorta and Kelsey respectively. Meanwhile, our cheap guy, Brock Bowers, going absolutely bananas with the 28 this week. So, you know, making these guys look pretty bad. Um, in saying that, there hasn't been a lot of tight ends going well. Um, I think McBride went okay this week, um, but Kincaid's been struggling. I don't think Pitts has done a lot. Um, Evan Ingram was out this week. So, you know, it's sort of been hard to hit on tight ends. Um, so it's not the worst. Uh, the kickers we got right this week, Bates with the 20-point haul, Cardi with an 8. I think he got a bit of an injury from what I saw as well. Um, the Rams just struggling at the moment. Uh, and the Chiefs, 22 points, better week for their defense and special teams. Uh, same with Washington, but only getting an 8. So if we have a look at the, the matchup this week, go back to week 2. Um, so it was a close one for us, but uh, just missing out by two points uh, to two of girls, one cup. So ironically, both them out injured this week. Uh, don't know if that's an omen for you, Todd, or not. <laughs> but uh, Captain Josh Allen, who was a bit underwhelming, so we sort of had the captaincy there. You know, minus two from the Miami defense was unexpected. 
Um, but probably DK Metcalf with 47 helped. And just playing Harrison, you know. If we'd played Harrison, we would have been right. Um, you know, played Bowers as well even over one of the, the tight ends. You know, it was just one of those weeks where it didn't work out for us. Um, so looking at the the other matchups, uh, looks like the bin chickens topping it again with a 524. So let's see, A Chan with 51 was awesome. VC Jackson, which wasn't the worst move this week. Um, Adams and Jefferson both good with 40s. Uh, Derek Henry with 31 solid. Played Harrison. Trey McBride with the 31, as I said, was quite good. Um, yeah, so. And also, I guess, Shahid on the bench with 37, so that's a good get as well. So, sitting pretty well at the moment. I think Jefferson might be out with injury and cup, so potentially a couple of trades being made there. But uh, looking pretty solid throughout the squad there. Um, I guess some other high scores. Cut my balls with uh, 484, so sitting second in the league. Um, Neighbours, Jefferson, had Mason, Taylor was okay. Captain Hurts. So I think, you know, this is one of the things we probably need to look at is having a, a quarterback that we can, uh, you know, sort of nail the captaincy on every week. I think... Richardson has got that big game in him, but a little bit on the inconsistent side. Um, shot callers as well with a 450+, plus, uh, 465. So Alvin Kamara, my man. You know, last week I was cheering that I picked Saquon over him, but uh, being brought back down to earth with his 86-point haul this week uh, and a pretty popular trade-in already. Um, Rogers with a 30 is okay. He's gone right card, the kicker, with 22, so another cheap option. Um, VC hurts, so that's an interesting move. Who's the captain? McCaffrey, so might have just missed the jump on that, but um, yeah, got Dowdle and McLaughlin, so that's pretty lucky. <laughs> Not so much McLaughlin, he only got one point. And yeah, so I guess uh, if we have a look at the leagues as well, just quickly, um, mostly I guess just the big up the bin chickens. You can see two and oh, massive 1013 point haul. If we go to total points, actually sitting second overall. So well done, Adam. I'll, uh, I'll send you a message shortly to big you up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, some good stuff there. A few guys sort of well in the hunt in the top 200. Falcon Time did well again this week. Remember, that was my matchup for round one. So a couple of tough tough weeks for me, although probably should have beaten a 389 in all honesty. But again, some dumb decisions on my behalf. <laughs> so looking at the team this week actually before we look at the team we'll, we'll look at the uh, the break evens uh, and the the popular trades um, so the assistant coach has opened for an extra bit of free trial you've probably had it for the first two weeks um, you can get an extra two week trial if you want um, after that you do have to pay but um, I guess I will be putting it in for the channel um, so you can access it through these channels all through the uh, the season if you wish to. Uh, so you can see Jaden Daniels we've got. Sam Darnold's an interesting one. He started quite well. Um, you know, it was super cheap as well, which was helpful. Um, so if you went him and Daniels as your two cheap QBs, I think that's worked out well. Um, Williams is there or thereabouts, but a fair way down the list when you look at everyone. Uh, still has a negative break even, but only negative seven. I think he just needs a bit more time. He's going to be a slow burn, um, but I think we've got to make some more drastic moves. So probably going to look to offload him. Uh, Mason, neighbours we've already got, so that's worked out well. J.K. Dobbins, probably the other sort of cheapy you want on your bench uh, alongside Mason. Less than 10 mil, but doing the job. 
Um, Alec Pierce has been an interesting one. You know, at six million, negative thirty-seven break-even this week. Um, you know, should make a good bit of cash. Kamara, so with his eighty-six, he's going to have you know a couple of weeks of good cash gen. So even if it is a bit of a cash grab for the next week or two, but um, you know, it could be an easy way if you haven't got McCaffrey um, to sort of get some money for him post IR. Um, could even be a trade down option for McCaffrey and then bring him back in. Um, and obviously, you know, it doesn't cost you any extra money at that point. Um, Harrison Jr. is up there. Seabert's an interesting one. So wasn't even in the game uh, before this week and goes and kicks seven field goals, scoring 44. Um, I don't know if we want to waste a trade next week on a kicker. Um, maybe if we've literally got nothing else to do. Um, I know there is a bit of an injury cloud there with Cardi, so maybe a straight swap. Uh, not too sure. Narvison, another kicker, not quite 44 points, but you know has got a nice break even going into this week. Um, Worthy with only a six, so he'll have one good week of cash gen, and then you can see he's already projected to be at about a nine, so not worth trading in if you don't have. Um, Brian Thomas is one I'd be interested in if you're looking for a cheap wide receiver, negative 24. Bo Nix, you know, I'd rather Darnold, I think, if you're going to trade in a cheap quarterback. Um, unless you don't have Daniels, then definitely target Daniels. Boswell, you know, he's another one, did well week one. Lazard did well week one. So it's only one week of cash. I'd probably skip those guys. Bowers is, I guess, the, the man in terms of the tight ends making money. Um, the Vikings' defense has been really good. So, again, one good week of uh, cash and then 10 next week. Maybe not worth it. Braylon Allen looks like he's projecting for a nice couple of weeks, but uh, he did score a three in the first week. So, just be mindful of that. Um, and Chris Godwin looks really good, you know, sort of averaging 39. Played Denver this week. So negative 21, he'll be a very popular trading. Uh, I guess we should just quickly look at the opposite as well. So the guys that are losing cash. So Dak Prescott with its 72, um, you know, averaging 26. Like You'll see a lot of the quarterbacks here, Justin Herbert, Brock Purdy, Kyron Williams is an interesting one. You'd imagine with uh, Nakua and now Cup down, you know, he, they could really sort of lean into him and his running game. So maybe, you know, one to keep an eye on over the next couple of weeks and, and catch at the bottom. Uh, Tank Dell sort of struggling with uh, Stefan Diggs there now as well. Um, alongside Nico Collins, who looks like the clear wide receiver one. Murray Cooper just sort of probably struggling off the back of Deshaun Watson struggling. So it could be some really good value in a few weeks if they can sort their quarterback play out. Uh, Tyreek will lose some money, but I think he's one of those guys that's sort of too good to fail for long term. So if you haven't got him, you can wait, get him in. Um, I'm probably going to hold just because I've got bigger issues I want to sort. Um so Cousins, another one that's probably, you know, slightly overpriced at quarterback. Justin Fields will lose some money. Josh Allen, I think, is in a, a panic trade out if you've got him. He's still averaging 40. Um, you know, that, that'll be closer to the truth than the 19. Uh, Monra St. Brown will, will lose a bit of money this week, but um, he did score 34 last week. Or this week just gone, I should say. So... Slight dip could be one to look at next week. Excuse me. Um, Hopkins is struggling. Not going to work as a mid-price option. Kelsey is going to lose a bit of value, which is a bit flat. Uh, more quarterbacks, more wide receivers on. Um, well, I wouldn't say Indiana, Indianapolis is underperforming, but... Uh, Pittman's not going so well. It looks like uh, Pierce is the man there at the moment. 
DJ Moore, you know, could, should be doing better considering um, he's probably still the number one target there at Chicago. But I think they're missing Keenan Allen. Um, I could keep going, but we know these guys, a lot of them have the potential to bounce back. Um, but some, if you do have, uh, haven't been worth the punt, then you can trade them out. Uh, so if you have a look at the popular trades already, <coughs> excuse me. So top ownership there, the, the cheapies, we've got a lot of the highly owned players and it still hasn't worked out for us. <laughs> um, no, that's not what I wanted. Ownership change. So, yeah, so it looks like some of the key trades this week, Kamara, Godwin, a wide receiver with a good break even. Dobbins, cheap wide uh, running back. Nico Collins, as we said, looks like the main man there. Doesn't have the strongest break even, but he's averaging 38, so that's what you bring him in for. Darnold is the main quarterback trade-in, probably off the back of a lot of people owning Daniels. Alec Pierce, a lot of people go on the punt on with his break-even. Um, Harrison Neighbors, if you don't have them, absolutely bring them in. Uh, George Kittle, I wouldn't be rushing to get in. Um, Jefferson, like I said, I think he's injured, so he's probably a trade-out rather than a trade-in. Um, Gesicki went well on the weekend, but he's cheap, I suppose. Could be a nice little cash grab. I'll just adjust the laptop there. Uh, Mayfield, you know, he's got a good fixture this week, but I don't think he's a season-long keeper, so I wouldn't mess with uh, that price point. Um, but what about trade-outs? I think... A lot of the popular ones. Cup, out injured, yes. McCaffrey, out injured, yes. Williams, yeah. I think you've got to go the the two premium quarterbacks. Um, I'm probably using that term loosely with Anthony Richardson, but um, <laughs> he'll still be on the team this week. Zamir White, if you've got the, the luxury of trading him out this week, you could do that. Uh, Kelsey's one I'd probably hold, you know. He will come good eventually, and you don't want to be off when that happens. Tyreek, I can understand, but, um, yeah. Jonathan Brooks, shouldn't have started with him, so a few people realising that mistake now. Benson, I think you can trade out. You are waiting on a James Conner injury for him to be relevant, um, and when, he, when that does happen, you can trade him in and, and grab the cash then. And uh, Dunze, probably, I know he's playing under a bit of an injury cloud, but um, probably worth a hold at his price. I think there's potential there. Um, Brown, I guess, you know, hasn't had the best start, so you can trade him out. AJ Brown's injured. Um, Coleman, so didn't play this week. Not sure what's happened there. I haven't followed him too closely, to be honest. But... Uh, if he's out for a couple more weeks, could be a nice little cash-out option in a few weeks. Garrett Wilson, that's an interesting one. I'd uh, keep the faith. Tua, yes, I uh, trade him out. Pacheco's injured, trade him out. Um, Nakua's injured, trade him out. Coram might be an interesting one to hold, potentially, given I think there is going to be more of a run game there at the Rams. Um but also could be one to bring in next week because only actually played the one game. Uh, didn't get any action in week one. Uh, other than that, Debo I think's injured. Walker's injured. Ingram's injured. Allen's injured. Chubb shouldn't have been picked. He's been injured since uh, the last year. Mixon injured. Love injured. So good to see some people finally working it out. <laughs> but um, I guess in terms of our moves this week, I've sort of already alluded to them. Um, but what we want to do is we want to get rid of McCaffrey. Too much money on the bench for that amount of time. 
um, given he is confirmed out. Um, and so we're just going to make, I guess, the obvious move and bring in Kamara. So we've got him. Um, we're going to take all that cash we've got now between the downgrade and the bank that we had, go straight to Jalen Hurts as our prime captaincy option. Um, and then our third trade, and I guess the obvious move is the trade out cup. But what I'm actually going to do is trade out uh, Deontay Johnson. So uh, be interesting to see how they go with Bryce Young not playing quarterback uh, this week. But we are going to bring in Godwin. Um, and I guess the reason for that is twofold. First of all, Godwin is going to make a lot more money than Johnson in the short term, which is nice. Um, but also, just by holding Cooper Cup, it does give us an option of uh, playing the captaincy loophole. So I guess, you know, we could have kept McCaffrey, but that would have cost us twice as much money. So an extra 12 million that's not on our field. Um, so happy to sort of keep Cup. I need to get McConkey off the field, need to get Harrison on. So pretty comfortable playing these two guys every week going forward. Um, Wilson and Godwin we're fine with. Um, well, it could be the case of, you know, if uh, our vice captain goes well, which this week is going to be Bruce Hall, you know, we can just slide Godwin off, which seems weird given how well he's going, um, and just bring Cup in. It would be Wilson, if I'm being honest, but he is also playing in that game. So it didn't quite work out this week. But... Um, you know, we'll, we'll take Godwin's cash even if we don't get his points necessarily. Um, and then what that allows us to do is not rely on the rookie so much. We can bring Hertz in as our sort of safe captaincy option every week. So, you know, oh, Kamara comes in for Mason. Um, so then the only question is, do we play Bowers over the established sort of guns? Um and, I mean, they're not the worst fixtures this week. You've got Detroit playing Arizona, um, who I don't think their defense has been, like, rock solid. I think they scored well this week, uh, if we can go to it. Can we search for Arizona defense? Yeah. Oh, so they have actually scored pretty well, but... What stats do you get to see? Fantasy stats. So a few sacks. So they scored a defensive touchdown in the first week. Oh, what's PA? Points allowed. So must must have had a good week actually against the Rams. Didn't so much in the first week against the Bills. So, actually, so yeah, Arizona would have been a good defense to be on in, in terms of generating cash, but we're not worried about that. <laughs> um, but what were we talking about? Kansas City, Travis Kelsey playing against Atlanta. Um, so if we have a look at Atlanta's defense... So, yeah, they've only scored six points each week. So, not the strongest. So, I think we have to play Kelsey. I'm going to go Laporta on the bench. Um, and it's mostly I do want to play Bowers just because they've got the nice matchup against Carolina this week. So, I think if you've got Bowers, you've got to play him, even if you've got a big gun sitting on the pine. Um, but we'll put some insurance with for Laporta by keeping Bates in the starting team. As I said, Cardi under a bit of an injury cloud makes the call a little bit easier. And obviously the Chiefs defense over the Washington defense. So that's the team and how it's going to line up for this week. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, feel free to add them below this video. Um, give us a thumbs up, obviously, if you enjoy the NFL content. Um, subscribe for all the fantasy sports content we've got on the channel. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.